Very good evening Dutch bike blogger. Thank you for riding with me. Well, totally dark. If you did not see part one, see link in the description box and that thing called cart in the top right corner to have a look at that. 20 minutes past 8 Saturday and it's November 20th 20th 2021 it's cold so I'm wearing a hat I'm trying to put on my gloves it does seem to take a little bit of an effort and guess what it's not totally dry it's actually a little bit drizzled not much but there is drizzle certainly 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 When I look in my headlight, I certainly see when it's better fall in the light beam. Well, like I said, wearing a hat, gloves at the moment. And on my way from Moorland to the Korreweg area, In the last video, like I said, look at the description box link. Link in the description box, I mean, um, it was, well, was it? What, what else? So oh, it was um, not totally dark then. Now it is. Sun set quite early. Just in the light beam a bit, because otherwise I will be blinding people with my bike light dual bike lights one operating on batteries front and back back red front uh, uh, clear also using my big power lights rechargeable on the front and also rechargeable bike light on the back so I have Redundancy with the bike lights. Actually, an old bike that still has a dynamo, so in theory, I could light up my front bike light on the bike itself and on the rear, on the fender. Don't know if these things work. Last time I checked, only the front one worked. But well, I got these lights, and this is okay. Works fine. Only thing you have to charge your bike lights recent, regularly, and also you keep in mind that battery-powered LED lights don't have. or have a limited lifetime so sometimes you have to change the battery or don't have spare batteries with me could also do that but that would be a little bit over the top I think too much like I said I already have redundancy and lights so 
no need for any more I'm assuming it's quite dark for you guys my eyes are better equipped for looking in the dark or watching things in the dark than the camera is Christ one with a dog and the dog was trying to <laughs> get over the road towing his owner behind him not sure what was going wrong there scared me a little small industrial slash office area here quiet 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 yeah. oh so quiet good thing I'm wearing gloves and a hat could be that it's going to be a little bit warm in them but at least I'm not getting a cold head and cold hands cold face well that's not covered so could be getting a cold face To my right, the Karninger sporting facility covered in dark because it's closed. Do have some glare on my glasses from the rain spatter. It's not totally clear, and the lights are reflecting on the rain drops on my glasses. take a turn onto here to the left follow the main road on the bridge and now downhill so effectively you don't have to pedal I'm do a bike lane, so I have to be aware of people coming my way. Maybe I have to stop and wipe my glasses because visibility is actually not increasing. thing I have a bike light on my bike so I can see something because it's awfully dark in some places Whew. 
Whew. Where did I end up? Uh, looky, looky here. Uh, straight onto the bike lane again. Still a dual bike lane. Take a turn. I think this is called Stadsweg, City Road. Christmas lights here, that's nice. Not that many, but Christmas lights there are. Oh, also here, some ornaments. Nice, people decorating outside. A little early in the year. That's okay. Let's have a look, let's go straight. Uh, Onto here. Little uphill. Going through here. And then making a right turn in this area. On the street, awfully dark. Speed hump, so oh, thought I could go around it, but didn't. Did extend a little bit more to the side than I expected, but well, that's what it is. This one is okay, not a speed hump, but. Go around it. Liberty designed for bikes to go around or go past. Yeah. Phew. Oosterparkwijk, Oosterpark neighborhood. Still drizzly. Oh, 
not too fond of that, but well, it is what it is. Brilliant move of the bike right in front of me, not extending his hand and no backlight. So you have to guess where he is and where he's going. Is this a dead end or what is? Go this way. Not sure where I ended up now, but the stench feeling has to go this way. A ah. little bit of a detour. But well, it's we are finally get me where I want to go. But sadly enough, visibility is not optimum. For sure not. Ah, crazy. bridge don't look like there's traffic let's have a look to the right and the left nope nothing continue this way so dark here wow Then on a totally unlit bike lane, fireworks. I just uh, boosted up my uh, bike light to maximum to try and see more than it was before, but on the camera it doesn't make any difference, I think. Damn man's on a scooter without any lights. And if you're not aware where I am now, I'm just arrived at the Korreweg. So time to end the video. Hope you liked it. Normally the videos in the dark are not that well viewed I have to say can't blame you it's nicer to do something in daylight well thank you for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel check out the description box I will see you next time have a great day and like always be safe out there <laughs>